Let's be honest, for decades, public housing has been under-supported and underfunded. NYCHA residents deserve better than this, and today, finally, they can get better than this. This is a historic moment. The next 10 days, you are going to decide your destiny and how you want your housing to be. We have increased outreach staffing by 60% since January of 2022. And as a result, more than 6,100 New Yorkers have checked into shelters since launching the subway safety plan. What it is, it's a proof of concept of what is possible if we don't take our foot off the gas and continue. This is not mere relocation. It is a transformation of lives. No one has a tree like this. No one has an experience like this. It's the best city in the world. We've lost too many New Yorkers to traffic violence. And today's announcement is an extreme step in the right direction. We're going to be doing 1,000 daylighting intersection every year. And that's added to the other 1,000 redesigning danger intersection that we've already been doing. We have some very specific plans that we're going to institute and put in place. We stand in support of every person, every New Yorker, are living with HIV and AIDS. And today we honor the almost 200,000 New Yorkers we have lost to the illness with the first ever reading of names of vigil to be held here in City Hall.